Wave 1, it's Mega 400 here with more Let's Play Paper Mario. Um, in this episode, we will be doing Boo's Mansion. Uh, and this place is pretty awesome, in my opinion. It's just a really awesome uh, area, well designed. The music's uh, kind of, you know, just uh, atmospheric, but there is good music in this place, which you'll hear in a second. Um, but let's see. Um, First things first, let's open this cabinet. Oh, look, booze! Now, this song is awesome. Do, do, do. Mario, you have come. If you want this record, you must guess who holds it. Ooh, guessing games, I love these. So, yeah, basically, you gotta see where the boo is and then hit it. Um, hit the boo. This is actually, maybe it's just me, but it's actually, like, it'll scroll off camera to where Mario is, that which makes it kind of hard to figure out, where, uh, keep track of them. Like, you'll figure, you'll see it drop, and it's pretty easy, in my opinion, to keep track of who has the record, but then when Mario, it scrolls off, uh, and goes back to Mario, you have to, uh, try and keep track while the boo is talking to you, which can be kind of difficult to an extent. But for whatever reason, I never have issue with it. See, like, right here. You would think you, you would have trouble finding which boo it was, but I just, for whatever reason, I, it wasn't that hard for me. I love the Boo's uh, design in this game, though. They just look awesome, and, and all of their, like, uh, animations are just really cool. And, and it just... I don't know, I just don't really like them. Of all the enemies in this game, or all the characters in this game, I really like all the Boo animations. They're just awesome. So we got the record. Uh, and technically, you could talk to the, the, the Blake portrait over there, and that'll tell you what you're supposed to do to go see Lady Bell. but uh, I already know what to do, so there's no reason to talk to it. Um, so, um, let's see... Um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, if you probably haven't noticed, I'm having a hard time uh, trying to come up with things to remind you guys of, um, at the end of the video, so, uh, in this, oh, I love this song, it's a classic, so in the, uh, comments of this video, I would appreciate it if you, uh, you know, gave me some suggestions of things I could remind you of, uh, j and, and, like, don't, like, uh, this, they'll just help me jog uh, some like creative juice in general to come up with other things. So anyway, you have to play that record until the boot comes over there to dance, so you can grab this treasure chest, which has the weight. Oh no, oh no, I see, I love that animation right there. Lady Bao gave me that one job to guard the treasure chest. Oh well, it may still be okay. Hehehehe. <laughs> That's not like you can get anywhere without knowing how to use the weight. Oh, but we do know how to use the weight because I've played this game before, and also it's not that hard to figure out because there's only only one thing you can do, um, since everything else is locked right now. So let's go to this couch, which is different than the others, and allows us to fling up onto the chandelier. And look, pulling out on the chandelier opens, uh, moves that cabinet out of the way. However, if you let go, it will go back up. But we have the weight now; we can put that on there. And yeah, I kind of just cut over to here. Uh, you can open that treasure chest, but the chandelier will, uh, come at you. Not that it does anything, but it's just fun to do, because, you know. Who doesn't want a chandelier to, uh, fall down at them at high speeds and almost crash into them, but not because it wasn't meant to crash into you because of the way it was designed? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is not much to do here at the moment. Except for going to this door. And here, we have... A giant treasure chest, you know what that means. Uh, last time we had a giant treasure chest, we uh, got the super hammer. So now, the super boots. Probably one of the best uh, things in the game. I love the super boots. Mario, welcome. If you want these boots, you these boots are made for walking. Yeah. That's about it. You know, I'm probably going to... I know I'm going off topic on this, but I'm probably going to make a Ghostbuster reference at one point uh, in this one of these, probably this episode or something, because if you've uh, watched my LPs for enough, uh, long enough, you'll know that um, anytime there is a go uh, something involving ghost or graveyards or something, I've always made a uh, uh, Ghostbusters reference. Like, in Minish Cap, I like made two references to Ghostbusters in different uh, video titles. Um, actually, maybe three, actually, for that matter. I, I've just I've used Ghostbusters references so many times. It's all I almost kind of consider it tradition to an extent. Maybe I won't though. I don't know. Uh, it depends on the heat of the well, heat of the moment when I get to uh, coming up with the title. So yeah, we got the two boots. The two boots allow us to use a ground pound. Um, this will this has a few uh, things that comes in handy. A, it allows us to uh, break those like uh, wooden things so we can go uh, to a different area and. 
star pieces. This will uh, come important uh, for like getting uh, some of the star pieces. Like a majority of them uh, are just uh, are just the, um, uh, the hidden in the ground, the panel ones. This is what the majority of star pieces are in this game. Uh, more so, more in TTYD though. There are, I mean, there's Chuck Wismo, and then there's the Koopa Coop ones and uh, Letter ones and all those. But there's also um, panels, uh, and there's actually some in like a Chapter One and Prologue still in those areas that have panels to get the star pieces from. Um, but yeah, there's not many uh, that are just randomly uh, laying around. There's some, but the. Uh, a lot, a lot of star pieces are found in panels, which can be annoying because if you don't know where the panel is, because they're kind of random, you, uh, you'll get in, uh, it'll be hard to. Um, they're hard to find, basically, for, uh, if you don't know where the panels are. Um, and also, uh, a little uh, tip is whenever I pound the panels, usually I pound at the corner of where the platform is. Because otherwise you can't like I used to like try and pound on it and it wouldn't do anything. It, it, it always works though for me if I pound like one of the corners of the panel. I don't know if that's just you know just uh, you would think it would be common sense, but I guess it just it seems to uh, work. Cause sometimes like you'll pound near it and it won't flip unless you uh, do the um, corner thing. And yeah, I know what that pot does. Uh, I'm gonna show that next video, so don't go saying. Oh, oh, you didn't show that. No, I know what. I just didn't have time to show it in this video, so don't post in the comments telling what the pot does. No, it's it's obvious for most people who have played this game, but don't spoil it. The pot does do something awesome. Pot as in like the pot, not pot as in the drug, but that does something awesome too. Um, here we have a wall we can blow up, and yeah, those crates. I'll go back here to pound these crates, which will have a star piece. And that well, that uh, area leads to where the shop was, uh, that where he blew up with Bumet. And here's the last star piece of uh, Boo's Mansion, I believe. So let's go to the right and put the old portrait we got of the Boo into the portrait or into the frame. Phew! Ah, that feels better. It's nice to be back inside my frame after so long. But I didn't even tell you to go find the drawing. You saw the riddle on your own. Are you just lucky or what? <laughs> Maybe it's just a coincidence. No, I cheated. The, or actually, I played it again before, technically. In any case, you found the secret way up to... Okay, so we drop in, uh, jump into the drawing. Hmm, when has Mario ever done that before? Maybe a game call starts, that starts with a Super and ends with a Mario 64? Uh, anyway, here is uh, Lady Bao's room. And again, it's probably Bo, but whatever, I call her Bao. I'm just used to calling her that. Do, 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 do. So yeah, she was testing our, repu our Mario's reputation. I am Bao. I'm finally, I'm glad to meet you. I am Bootler, the butler. Ooh, get it? Bootler, butler. Ooh, boo. He's a boo and he's a butler, so he's Bootler. So here's the rundown. Um, there's Gusty Gulch, and there's a hill. And is a castle of Tabu Blubba. He is a monster and he eats ghosts. I'm not sure how that physically is possible, but whatever. He eats ghosts. Um, and they can attack. They can't attack him because Tabu Blubba is invincible. Hence the name of the chapter and hence everything. But they know, uh, supposedly there is a secret that he has. There's a rumor that he uh, has a secret that he closely guards. And it will most likely relate to his weak point. There's really no... Uh, definition, de definite uh, thing on that. But anyway, uh, we had to find out a secret, and for doing this, she will give us a reward uh, for being Tub Blah Blah. Now, technically, Tub Blah Blah is supposed to be guarding the Star Spirit, but... Oh! The Star Spirit! Yeah. So, um, as Bowser found out in the uh, Peach part, uh, the Star Spirit, uh, Skolar, ran away from Tub Blah Blah's castle. How that is possible, I'm not actually sure, though, because technically, isn't he in a playing card? But whatever, he, he somehow got out of uh, Tub Blah's castle um, and ended up lost in Forever Forest because he couldn't make the jump to the Star Haven, so he had to go to uh, the, the Shooting Star Summit, but he couldn't make it through the forest, and the Boos captured him. So, yeah, we had to fight Tub Blah anyway, so now we're just doing it to help the Boos. But the thing is, even if we were to fight Tabo Blubba, we still would have saved the Star Spirit. It still would have helped you guys. And why don't you just give me the Star Spirit now? Because I'd be willing to fight Tabo Blubba. He's an awesome boss. He's got an awesome theme. I just like his cat level in general. His castle in general. 
So if you gave me the Star Spirit, because the Star Spirit has probably my favorite power. Scholar has my favorite power uh, for the Star Spirits. Um, but anyway, I love that that animation of Bootler too. So yeah, Lady Bell wants to go with us to uh, go fight uh, Saba Blubba. But I love this animation of yeah, but the Boos have so some awesome animations. Um, so yeah. Bao doesn't, or Bulu doesn't want uh, Bao to go fight Tao Blubba, but she does want to go fight Tao Blubba. So, is this all right, Mario? I'll join up with you until we meet Tao Blubba. I love this uh, that appears now. Bao joins your party, like it or not. So, we can have her uh, use her power to make us, her invis or us invisible, and enemies will fight us, and she can use a uh, slap. Or, I'll show the moves at the beginning of next episode, actually. Um, so, this is all the time I have. Uh, this has been Mega400 reminding you to go eat bacon.